Greetings and salutations folks and welcome once again as always to another helping of Mr H's Hot Pot. You join me today for day 40 of the UK lockdown where currently I'm out and about taking my daily exercise as always to try and avoid the crowds by coming out early in the morning and bringing you guys along for the ride. So folks we're finally here, we're at day 40 of this uh, lockdown period aren't we? And I don't know about you, but for me, this is a major milestone. It's one of those big numbers in your, like, in your life when you reach the age of 40, like I've done. It's been and gone a number of years ago now, but once you hit 40, you realise that we're into some big numbers, and I, I think that's the same feeling regarding the lockdown period. I know I said it at day 30, but day 40 has more gravity for me personally. I'm moving forward. It'll just become more and more amazing if indeed we get to 50, 60, 70. But hopefully it won't get to that, will it? Hopefully Mr H will be back chasing the Fred Dibner locations and things like that very soon. So folks, I hope you're all well. I hope you're all diggling okay and things like that. And you're managing to keep your spirits up because 40 days and by the time the evening rolls around, 40 nights is indeed a long time. A big thank you to everybody who left comments on yesterday's vlog. It turns out, from what I can gather from it, that... The mandatory wearing of face masks should Boris Johnson go down that road or even advising people wear them is a red line and a line in the sand for many of you. That is the point that you will resist basically and say no, enough is enough and you'll push back. And uh, that's interesting to note really. Now before I move off to from face masks, uh, my very good friend Mike, he sent me a text last night. He said he'd watched the video and he just wanted to comment and that I'd forgotten to mention something when I was talking about face masks. And he said, what about people who have asthma or, you know, other breathing conditions that will affect the respiratory system? How will they deal and cope with it? It's a good question, that, Mike. And I suppose you could also lump people into that who have medical conditions that will, it will create anxiety if they're told you have to wear a mask to go out in public you know it'll uh, cause anxiety issues for them so yeah what about people who have medical conditions that would be affected and irritated by the mandatory wearing of face masks a very very good question mike sadly it's one mate that i don't have the answer to but uh, it would be interesting should they go down that road if that'll be brought up so moving on and away from uh, face masks because i could make another whole vlog just on that and i do try to mix it up uh, each and every day for you. I had another commentator, Wayne Endry. Hello to you, sir. You left a, a comment that, in your opinion, you've seen the roads become more busy, which I must admit I have as well, and I'm sure everybody else has. And you've noticed that builders and gardeners, and mainly people who are self employed, you know, the little one man and a van type of outfits, they're slowly returning to work. And in your opinion, the lockdown has unofficially ended. It's just that Boris Johnson and the government and the medical people haven't caught up to speed with it. And that is a very interesting observation because I've noticed that as well. And it does make you wonder, Wayne, if big business is going to slowly catch up and we're just going to see the lockdown melt away, basically, and come to what I would call a ragged end. Very interesting point. Now, speaking of interesting points, I read an interesting article in The Guardian of all places. <whistles> Sorry if you read The Guardian, but uh, it's a very leftish propaganda paper that uh, I don't normally read. But what caught my eye was that there was a businessman, a bloke by the name of Steve Dolan, and I've never really heard of this fella before. So whether or not he's just trying to make a name for himself with what I'm going to explain he's looking to do or not, I don't know. But he's hoping to take the government to court over the legality of the lockdown period. Aka Gina Miller with Brexit, how she was causing all kinds of legal problems and headaches for Theresa May's government. It looks like this Steve Dolan's going to do the same thing. And partly I agree with what he's going to do. Because what he wants, he wants the papers that the experts have been giving our government and they've been basing the restrictions and advice off. He wants those to be made public. So the question I'm going to ask is, do you think that's right? Do you think the public, and we as members of the public, have a right to read all this information that these experts are giving to our government and they're basing their decisions off? Because let's face it, ministers and prime minister, they don't know how coronavirus works. They probably know how it works a little bit better 
than when they started, but if you'd have asked them at the beginning of all this, they hadn't got a clue. They're just ordinary people like me and you, aren't they? And they base their decisions off experts. And I do agree with what this Steve Dolan's saying. There is no reason for not telling the public what this advice and this advice that the experts are giving is, because it's not like a time of war where if we had an enemy, they could glean information and see where we're going from reading this stuff in the public domain. Viruses can't read, can they? So I do agree with what Steve Dolan's doing in that respect. If he's just trying to make a name for himself and cause bother, then, well, we don't need that. We've had enough of that, haven't we, in the past? But, uh, yeah, that's an interesting story, I think, and be interesting to get people's thoughts on it. Should we have access to all the information that the government has got? Or will there be things in there that will scare us and panic us as the public and we don't really need to know at this stage? Leave your thoughts below as always. So, folks, it's back to normal uh, service, isn't it, really? Where I'm back out in a wooded area. I've had to come in here today because the sun is shining out there and it's low in the sky and it shines into the camera and it, it causes havoc. It's not as easy as uh, what a lot of people think where you just have to stick a camera in front of yourself and just talk into it. There's all lighting and audio and all kinds of things that uh, make into a good video and can cause problems. So that's why I'm in the wooded area again today. So a big upload again but yesterday I had problems as many of you know where I had to go and get some petroleum for the old jalopy and then I was going to come out into an area like this and do the vlog and it didn't work out that way I got stuck in a long queue and it's interesting how the weekly shopping trip has changed now isn't it and that's become a logistical nightmare in fairness in fairness and I'm going to say this as a disclaimer Mrs H does the majority if indeed all of our shopping. I just go out and pick bits and pieces up. But she goes out and she does the old standing in a queue, things like that. And I wonder how people who've been in isolation, such as my father who's in his 80s, how they're going to cope with the landscape because it's changed regarding shopping, hasn't it? It's become a major military operation and a logistical nightmare, if we're being honest. And I wonder how they're going to cope because my dad doesn't pay via card. He's never paid by card in his life. And a lot of places now are going down that cashless society route aren't they so it'll be interesting to see how he copes with that when he, he does indeed eventually come out and go and do his own shopping once again and what do you think do you think these measures regarding a lot of places now they've geared up to only taking card they won't go back to cash or do you think you know things will return to normal in that respect be interesting to hear once again your thoughts on that and i do feel sorry for my father because He's not realised that the world has changed. When I go down and take me his groceries down for him because we're doing his shopping, he's talking about things as they was seven weeks prior. It's going to be a big eye-opener for those people who've been stuck indoors so long, isn't it? It really is. Now, before I go, before I wrap this particular vlog up, because we are coming up to the old 10-minute mark, as always, and sadly, some of you may say, woohoo, others may say, I have been asked by one fellow called off stage in a previous vlog about three days ago, what about creating some t-shirts and mugs and things like that and merchandise or merch and swag as the Americans call it. I have been asked about this uh, off stage in the past and one or two people have said, usually about Christmas time, have you ever thought about doing a run of t-shirts and things like that? I will be honest with you, I have toyed with the idea of doing a limited run but my channel just isn't that big. You know, I don't have the amount of subscribers that would warrant going getting so many gross of t-shirts and mugs made up. I could end up with them just left on my hands. So, as yet, I don't have any plans to do that. Terry, I know you also backed that up and said you would probably purchase something. But, um, no, there's no plans for that. Unless, of course, a demand does actually come. But it's not something I'm really looking at doing. I don't try and make money out of this channel. Foolishly, some people would say, maybe you should, but uh, I don't advertise on it or anything like that. Mainly for the reason that the one thing I don't like seeing when I go onto somebody's channel is you click on a video, you just get into it, and then it goes into some advert for Wix or, you know, some laptop or something like that, and you think, ah, it's irritating, and although it's only like five seconds before you can click off it, it seems the longest five seconds of your life, and I do feel it spoils people's videos, and that's why I don't go down the road of advertising personally. I, I try and keep YouTube as it was originally intended, which was just making a video, 
and people seeing it. But yeah, on the um, question of merchandise and swag, I don't know about that. If it does turn out there is indeed a demand for that, then I may look into it, but uh, I've got no plans to do that as yet. Anyway, folks, we are up to the old 10-minute mark, and this is where Mr H signs off for the day. So, folks, until tomorrow, when it'll be day 41 of the UK lockdown, I will bid you a fond farewell, and until then, stay safe as always, and bye-bye for now.